Hi everyone, in this tutorial I explain how to simply use a date or a series of dates for further calculations in Excel, which is widely used in the finance space. Okay, so here we have specific dates and it begins in the beginning of 2021. If we want to get the year, we can just type in year of that date. If we want to get the month, we just type in the month of that date and we get the month. And now when we want to get the components of this specific date, then we type the formula date with brackets and then we use the three components. So we have here the year from this date, the month, and the day of that date and we just close the brackets and then we just added it up to this date which is exactly the same in column A and D. When we now want to add for example five days to this date here we can just use the same formula as just before with all the three components and in this component date here we just make plus five at the end and then we just add five days. When we want to also add five months and also five days, we can use just the same thing and add here for month five and also for the day we add five. This is super straightforward. If we want to get the difference between two dates, then we can use the function date diff with the first date and the second date. So the difference between these dates in days, which we put here as a D in quotation marks, and then we just get 156 days, which is the difference between these two dates here. And if we want to get the difference in month, we just specify the format here in the date difference with an M in quotation marks. And then we get the difference in month, which is five in this case, how to get the day of the year. So for example here, this is the fourth day of the year, and here we just use the count if formula. So we have the range from 2021 to 2021. And we have the criteria, which is 2021 is in the fourth place. So we get here a four. And if we go down, you see each day we add a one. And when we look at the end of the year, which is here, we still count within this range on the 1st of January 2022. We can see here we have a 2022 and now it begins to count from 1 again and then it goes on for the next year. The same thing we can also do with the month. Just here we need to specify two count ifs. So we use the first range and the first criteria for the month and the second criteria for the year. So we always compare this line with the, the range above. And here you see we start from 1 and count up to 31, which is the end of January. And then we start counting again for February, which we start here. And then you see as soon as we get here a 2 for the second month, we start count from 1 again. So I really hope you got some value out of this short, easy tutorial. For more content, subscribe and please leave a like. See you next time.